I am pleased to, to be with uh, Ms. Allison Smith, our principal of Midway High School, to join me for just a short conversation about all of this construction that's sure. going on here at Midway Thanks. High School. We're continuing to expand our, our programming here at the high school, as well as to make additional room for a growing student population. But you and I are looking out at construction now, progress, and where we're standing uh, will, won't look like this any longer, will it? No, it will not. Kind of tell me what's going to happen. Sure. So we are currently standing on the second floor right now of Midway High School, mm -hmm. right off of the 200 Hall. We're going to be blowing out the lockers that are on both sides of us right here, and this glass right here will filter right in through to our new second story of our, um, our CTE, CTE building. So the new section is going to, it's going to be a continuation of our current building. It's also going to feed directly into our library. We're going to be knocking out a wall in the library. Awesome. So it will yeah. create a collaborative area there in the library. And we're hoping to create just a seamless transition from one hallway to the next. Great, so. great. I'm excited. So yes, tell me a little absolutely. bit about your plans for the library. So the room we're adding is about, um, we're hoping a capacity of about 100 students can fit in there. It can have some movable walls. A lot of those are glass and see through from the main hallway. And then we're hoping that it'll flow just directly right on into our new college and career center. What I'd like to first of all uh, talk to you about or just share is the fact that we really do have two projects going on at the same time. We are adding an additional wing to Midway High School that Dr. Knutson, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you talk about it, okay? Okay. And tell us about the programs. But we are expanding our current agricultural science building. So could you tell me uh, what's gonna be new to that particular part? Because we're opening this in the fall of 2021, so they should be ready for the next school year. That's right, it's, it's, it's running faster on our timeline, which is really exciting for our ag science programs. Mm -hmm. The programs specifically that are gonna be impacted with the new portion of this building are um, our vet med, our, our veterinary technology uh, preparation program. We'll have a, an entirely new vet tech lab. Oh, and we also have a really large ag mechanics and welding program. So we're putting in a shop that is going to be specifically geared toward uh, teaching our welding students their welding skills. It will, it skills. It will have 20 welding bays. Um, is very much needed so that our existing shops can become project shops. We actually have three pathways of classes in Project Lead the Way. We have an engineering pathway, we have a computer science pathway, and we have a new biomedical science pathway. The area of the new addition that you're seeing here, this will serve our computer science and engineering pathways. What's really exciting about this space is that for the first time ever, those pathways will actually get to be uh, located in the same space and we'll get to do some collaboration. Right. They'll be together. Yes. And one of the things I'm seeing on this floor plan is we have a dedicated area for robotics. Absolutely. And so I'm pretty pumped about that. Tell me about robotics. Our robotics program is very popular and we've been working out of some modified classroom space uh, up until this point. So this dedicated robotics lab will uh, give our students plenty of room to work within the, the confines of their uh, required spacing and, and have all of their equipment and um, tools and machines that they work with. And what's super exciting is that this is cased in glass uh, on oh, the uh, yeah. hallway side so that anyone coming through will be able to, to look in it? and see what's going on, yes. As I see, biomed, health science, in hospital, tell me about that. What we've tried to do in this space is recreate some environments that students would see in the real world. So the hospital lab is going to be a mock lab that mm -hmm. very much is set up like a hospital location. Our students will be able to move into there in some, several of their classes and learn specific mm -hmm. skill, skills on equipment that mimics what they would see in a hospital in right. an industry. So can the superintendent go in if, if he feels a little stress for a stress test? You can just come kidding. in there anytime, anytime. All right, all right. <laughs> so then I can see another uh, expansion of programs for CTE, but it says, all it says is graphics and photo and fashion. What's that all about? This is all of our visual arts program focus, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see a large fashion design, a very oh, popular okay. program. And our, among our students, we've got our commercial photography studio and graphics lab, but one really great addition that we've never had before is a print shop. We'll be able to have poster makers, t-shirt presses. Uh, we can actually utilize that for students to learn some industry skill, but maybe even fulfill like help to stock our yeah. panther pit. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thanks again for joining me for a conversation with Miss Allison Smith, our high school principal, and Dr. Ashley Knutson, our director of college and career readiness. Miss Smith, what are you most excited though about when we talk about a new career and technical education wing 
here at Midway High School. I think I'm most excited about we won't be limited anymore in our space inside the building. Um, we're able to grow the programs. They are growing already, but this gives us a couple more classrooms to maybe hire on more teachers to offer a few more electives that go in each of those pathways. And so I think that that's probably the biggest thing is just having a little space to breathe and to collaborate and really make those spaces what they should be for some of our, mm -hmm. um, our Project Lead the Way programs. Well, when you come into this room, there's a poster that says you're awesome. This is an awesome plan yeah. for our students and for our community here at Midway High School. Thank you both for all your hard work in helping in the planning of this building and in the monitoring and watching of the construction that's currently going on. And I can't wait till we have a ribbon cutting and open this for our students.